Mick Carl tries to find his brother Leo. Mick Carl 16, Leo 17. What a promising couple of players they are. Mick, of course, in the Olympic squad for those forthcoming games against Brazil. Not bad for a 16-year-old. And Colantis whips the ball in the meantime. But hasn't he cleared? Carl with the shot. Couldn't get round the ball. First real moment of excitement in the game. Being Anastasiadis, the Carlton keeper. Wants a bit more composure from his defence. This is how it happened. Collapses wide on the left. A dangerous ball whipped in. Probably should have been dealt with there by David Savinsky. And in the end, maybe young Mikhail probably be disappointed with that finish. He will be disappointed. He's, uh, he's a better player than that, but I think he's proved to Savinsky already. We've only been going three or four minutes that he's going to have his hand full tonight. He's a live wire. He keeps himself moving. And he's always on the move when he receives the ball. Zvinsky's not going to have a moment to sleep tonight. And Topless. Ball pass that one. It was broken for Blahos. It's crazy to Morris, in fact. And Topless tries to keep it, but he can't do so. Good to see Morris back in his Carlton side. It's been a frustrating couple of months for the number seven, the reigning player of the year in the Ericsson Cup. What an outstanding talent he is, but to say the move to Carlton hasn't really worked for Morrisic. He's off to the Northern Spirit the new club next season. But for his current employers, if he could produce something of his real form, he could have a big hand in the last three or four rounds. I often wonder, Michael, uh... we'll just stay with the action now. Emerson down the right side has done well, drawn the challenge, whips it in, must be Tome goal. Olympic take the lead. It's all down to Brett Emerson. It's his pace and his power which created the opportunity. It was a gimme in the end for Tomei. And the perfect start for Sydney Olympic. Well, Dean Anastasiadis knew it was coming. He alerted with defenders a few minutes ago. They got away with it on that occasion, Carlton, but not this time. Maricic now. On the left, needs support. Bresciano motoring to his left. Goes through the middle instead. Adrian Savinsky. Good ball in, almost finding Blahos. He knew what he was doing there, Adrian Savinsky. That was a quality cross. He looked up, he saw Blahos. And look at the curve on this ball, the bend on it. That is excellent technique. Marisic now trying to find a little bit of space on that side. He comes inside, tries his luck. Galantis had to hack it away. He had Savinsky behind him. Tomei now tracked by Bresciano. Fun against four, though. Good return by Nick Carl. Here's Sakenis. These are dangerous signs. They've happened on too many occasions during the year. We've questioned uh, UTS Olympics fitness already. And the way Carlton are stringing passes together, they're growing in confidence. The bad combination. Carlton 
continue to apply the pressure away by Ardane. Atkinson with a shot, the deflection, and it's in the net. That's the break that Carlton wanted. Atkinson took the shot. It came off Morrisich, I believe. Completely wrong footing. Bob Catlin. And Carlton suddenly have a smile on their face. Mark Atkinson, the Kiwi, backed himself with the shot. Lodkovic has done well to keep it in play. Good ball on Merkovic, Lapsansky. Lahos, Merkovic, and the substitute makes a telling impression. What a moment for him on his debut. The Yugoslav, the striker, has come off the pitch and unsettled that Olympic defence. He started that move, Vlado Merkovic, and he has finished a fine style. Carlton on level terms. Onside is Puma. Down he goes, the goalkeeper out. Penalty. And the goalkeeper is in the book. Well, what a turning point that is. Cassiatis has come off his line. And Greg Levinson, without a moment's hesitation, has awarded Olympic a penalty. Let's have a look at it again on the replay. Poyman with a touch. Tries to hurdle and Cassiatis. Was the goalkeeper barring his progress? Yeah, I thought that Lee, no matter how many times you say it, he didn't mean to do it. He put his hands up in. Honestly, no, it wasn't me, but he did. And he milked it for all it was worth. But how many times have we seen this scenario? A chance at one end, you could you could be well in the lead, and you can see the goal at the other. So it's Leo Carl looking for his second goal. And Ericsson Cup, he finishes Olympic back in front. Well, that is a savage play for Carlton. That was a textbook penalty from the 17-year-old. A look of thunder on the face of Anastasiadis, who was a judge to have given away the free kick. The penalty taken by Carl, the goalkeeper going the wrong way, and Olympic back in front. It needed something a little bit special to get them back into this game. They've got their noses in front. I just wonder how long they're going to stay. Time for